Thank you. <laughs> so we're back in the Model 3 Highland 2024 with the white interior. Now, first thoughts on driving it now for the past few minutes is that the seat is definitely much more comfortable. Now you have the ventilated seats as well, which is probably the biggest reason for anyone living in a hot climate to buy the 2024 Highland. Um, you know, as you know, especially in Dubai, summer heats can reach up to 50 degrees, if not more. And the interior cabin can reach up to 60, 65. Uh, as per my experience seeing the temperature in the mobile app. Another thing is the, as you know, they're trying to make it as close as possible to the Model S and X without having the gear knobs um, available on your right and left. So everything is now on the screen. Changing signals on your steering wheel. And, but the good thing is with this steering wheel is that the haptic feedback you get on the turn signals is much nicer than the Model S and X. I think whatever mistakes they did with the old steering wheels on the S and X, they improved it upon this one, basically. So, and the biggest, best thing with the new steering wheel, if you're comparing it to the S and X, is that it has a, the horn is in the middle. There you go. Actually, wow. It's so quiet in the cabin when you hit the horn. You don't hear it that much. I'm pretty sure outside it's quite loud. Um, this is the biggest uh, upgrade, I would say, if you want to compare it to the S and X and the steering wheels. What else do we have on the steering wheel? Okay, we have camera. As you can see, all the cameras turn on, which is quite nice. Okay, I like it. Um, high beam is here, wipers, microphone, and to keep it, what's it the cruise control right knob over here still not a big fan of doing it all putting this these turn signals on the steering wheel and the gear change on the screen over here I still prefer having the knobs I feel like it's much more faster even though I've experienced driving with the model S and X I still you know I don't know maybe it's muscle memory even though the moment I sat in I was trying to change the gear doing this it's going to take some time for new Tesla owners to get used to this. But yeah, nonetheless, I like the new steering wheel. The screen, as you can see right now, the bezels are much thinner compared to the older versions. So another big upgrade with the Highland is they've made the th glasses thicker. The left, right, front, back, the glass roof basically they're all much thicker to make the in cabin sound much quieter and i've noticed that immediately while driving so another new feature with this model is having the blind spot detector so you're going to see this red dot on the left speaker turn on just to notify you that, that there's a car on your left side on your blind spot so both on this and also on the right side, which is a cool feature. So one more thing is here on the roof, so you can change gears in case something happens with the screen. Obviously you don't have the gear knob over here to change your gear. So you see P, R, hazard lights, N and D. So just click on D and you can drive. So everything has moved to the top in case the screen malfunctions, you have this one to manually overdrive and change your gear. All right, one more thing. I think a lot of people are very sensitive over the years with Tesla is the panel gaps. And with the 2024, you can see the panel gaps are actually much, much better. I'll try to put a video in between comparing it to my Model 3. But you can see the gaps are way, way closer to each other. Yeah, charging port it is, where it is. 
and let's check on the front or here between the doors I think it's similar to no, actually it might be actually thinner like I mean closer to each other improvements definitely has been made in the front as well yeah the gaps are much thinner sorry closer to each other than the previous gen in my opinion let's show the door so you can see here the glasses are actually much thicker compared to the previous gen that's why the in cabin is much quieter same thing with the back door i believe so yeah not as thick as the front but an improvement nonetheless tires are michelin no big changes here tire sizes are the same ah and the back so you can see with the new redesign of the back taillights they're now attached to the trunk itself trunk door so as soon as i open it these go up with it so you, a lot of people may ask okay since this is up and you have hazard lights on how is someone going to see you having your hazards on if you parked on the side in case of an emergency so they added two lights in the bottom bottom diffuser hold on let me just quickly turn around for people to get what i mean so this is how it looks with the trunk down hazard lights on and once you turn it on sorry open it you have hazard lights on the bottom so drivers on the road can see you pretty cool not bad back seat we have a new infotainment screen over here uh, you can control the direction of the fan for the ac that's how you do it and since i'm sitting here on the right side the back passenger seat if there's no leg room and no human being sitting in the front what I can do is click here, the seat will move to the front. There we go, this is the maximum. Oh, no, even more. Yep, this is the max. So let me just zoom out quickly. So I have enough leg room here. And I'm six foot tall. Enough, enough leg room, leg room to cross your leg yeah quite comfy next let's see what else do we have here i can control the music oh the spotify being played here as well so i have i'm logged into my spotify account okay you can skip through let's check the volume <laughs> all right what else do we have youtube netflix twitch and my friend just did the fart sound for the lovely people outside <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go back here so if you have kids or friends in the back they just want to watch youtube while on a long trip you can easily watch youtube netflix and the volume i believe the speakers are gonna be played only in the back seats so that if you have you know the parents or friends whoever sitting in the front aren't gonna get annoyed by probably baby shark what was that musical baby yeah i think parents are gonna lose their minds so speakers in the back is only gonna work and for some reason youtube is loading for far too long so unfortunately after trying even with the front screen, Netflix nor YouTube is working. Maybe because it's a demo car, there's some limitations to it. Now the bar, the loading screen bar is pretty much full, but it's not launching. Interesting. But anyways, you get the point. Whatever Netflix used to be played in the previous Teslas, now can be played over here. YouTube and all. I'm gonna do the audio test. Keep in mind this is not the long range with 
the best audio system so this is the standard audio that you're gonna hear hopefully you get a good preview with the iPhone microphone so let's just play music we did tune a bit in this Nonetheless, for the standard, still good. You can still enjoy your music. One downside to the ambience light is that for some reason it's very dim. But when I want to go select a car, the brightness increases. So, <laughs> for some reason, I don't know why. So when I close, it dims down. I do not like that. But if you want it to be 100% bright the entire trip, uh, there's probably a sensor somewhere detecting how bright the ambient lights around the car should be. Well, even though it's dark, it, I assume it should be of the highest brightness possible. <laughs> so if you want it to be on a full brightness, just go on the color setting and keep it like that. The high beam is on the steering. You can screw up a lot, by the way. Yeah. Like, uh, you I don't want to do it quicker. <laughs> it's oh, it's so confusing. It's good. Yeah. I'm gonna put that on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't know what to do. I wanted to give him lights so I can go. Yeah. 